we don't have enough practice we don't really know what is the right time to leave a question you know some people do not even make notes that's why i say that everybody has their own technique yeah then again how to manage stress series and revision simultaneously hi everyone i'm sneha neki and i have got ar80 in gate ts 2021 exam and currently i'm pursuing my masters from indian institute of science bangalore as gate 2023 is on its way i thought it would be nice to address few of these questions which i have been receiving on linkedin uh from you know future gate aspirants about my preparation strategy or you know few doubts which they have before giving the gate exam um so these are the questions which i felt were important and you know everybody should um, know about it i'm sure many of us al already knew all of these things that what is good for operation what is bad but you know when someone else who has done it before addresses these uh, we you know consciously take those things in consideration so um, yeah this is the whole motivation of this video so uh, one of the questions that i have got is what is the best way to approach the test like during the test for some question i am spending more time solving them and when i feel i have spent more time and by then the solving of the problem is above 50% i can't leave this in between or move to next please let me know which will be a good strategy to apply during test okay so first thing is i have faced uh, the same issue uh, when i was giving the gate test series and uh, it was good that i realized it and it's good that this person also realized that what the mis uh, mistake he is doing so what used to happen is we don't uh, when we don't have enough practice we don't really know what is the right time to leave a question you know so what my strategy was on the first go you know when i'll start reading the paper on my first go i'll only solve those questions which uh, just click in my mind you know just uh, all those question to solve which i i don't have to spend more time thinking so in my first go i'll do all of those questions if somehow a uh, kind of questions a uh, question get in way that i think that i can solve it but in the middle i realize that i'm not able to solve it right so number one important tip would be when uh, when two weeks were remaining for the gate examination what i did is i started solving the you know uh, whole test series on kind of white sheets that are also given in the gate exam so what will happen is because i am the kind of person when i am solving questions in rough notebook also i have if i i'll go back to the same question i will have no idea what i did because you know in the rough work i did i do things so uh, you know i do i don't do it neatly so that was a biggest disadvantage for me because if i have solved a question halfway through and later i want to go back to that question i would not be able to comprehend what i did earlier so uh, make uh, you know those uh, small small white sheets and uh, you know clip them together with a stapler and while solving the test series mark the question and do it properly serial wise and if even if uh, you know because you will be going through the paper serial wise right so go through the questions serial wise and whatever questions you are solving just mark that question and leave uh, the room there to solve that question later on in this method what will happen is the fear that i have done 50% of it and now i can't leave this question will not be there because if you will have enough time later you can always come back to that question and solve it so uh, this was one advice that i gave to that person and i have really applied this strategy even though sometimes you don't get enough time to you know get back to that question but that's all, that's also fine because in meanwhile you must have done some another questions you know and the another thing is to know when to leave a question because uh, now we become uh, whenever we are solving any test series we become you know greedy that uh, i know this question i can do it so we kept on doing it but you have to be smart about it you have to leave for example i i have told that student as well ki just give maximum of 2 minutes to that question and if it's taking longer than that you know so just leave it and move on so that can be one criteria to leave a question set a time that I, i'll only give this much uh, time to one question so yeah that would be my answer to that question 
and i'll move on to another question ha huh. one person asked me that i just wanted to ask if coa computer organization and architecture of rbi sir is good or did you use any other resources for this subject i have been preparing i am worried about this subject is it okay if you could give me a review about it so um, i remember computer organization architecture was uh, one of the toughest subject that i felt when i prepare when i was preparing for gate and i thought uh, i really thought that uh, the lectures that i have uh, watched of rbi sir was not enough to solve those questions because uh, because whenever a question would come i i i, I, I was not able to go back to the uh, theory notes that i have made and solve the question so i what i did in computer organization architecture in operating system even in algorithms i have made notes from the pyqs you know what i did was i um, i used to solve the previous year question or the question that would come in test series or uh, the questions that i did from gate overflow website so what what i'll do is if i see that this question this kind of questions are asked frequently i'll go to get our flow website always and there there were a lot of discussions about those question even sometimes they provide a youtube link for that question so i would make notes from those youtube video or those discussion that how these kind of questions are solved for example for uh, questions related to pages segmentations you know you have to remember certain kind of things to solve those questions so uh, i have made proper notes from the question itself so two notebooks during my gate preparation were uh, of all the um, you know previous year questions notes so i think um, that would be a, a good thing to do if you think that certain subject uh, lectures are not enough to solve the questions and that's obvious because they just cover the theory part there you know they don't teach you how to solve those questions properly so yeah and also uh, about if it's okay to leave that particular subject so i have also asked one of my senior who have uh, got uh, ar uh, around 100 in his time and he also told me that he has left uh, this particular subject so uh, i think uh, and i have also because i i was giving it the gate exam another time so i didn't uh, leave any subject as such but many of the uh, many of the students who got good air have decided to drop one subject if they have a strong grip on another subjects so don't feel uh, you know uh, nervous about leaving any subject just be confident about all of the other subjects that you have prepared really well so yeah that would be my advice okay yeah and again in coa uh, what will in coa or in any other subject there will be few topics which are asked frequently so you don't have to really cover all the you know topics so yeah okay then another question is uh, my syllabus is just completed and i also practice good conceptual questions two months are remaining um, now i think it's only one and a half months yeah so uh, two months are remaining i have some doubts first out is how should i manage the test series along with revision i'm confused about that should i revise thoroughly first or revise one by one daily along with the test or revise two subjects daily okay so i will answer the uh, first question first so what i answer uh, that person is i think you should uh, try different different approaches and find out what works for you right so what i used to do is uh when last two months were left i remember i stopped making notes and uh, you know going through lectures and all i have started um, you know doing the test series and the revisions only and any um, question that i came up across which i thought was new to me i make notes from that question itself so that was my whole strategy during my last two months so what i used to do is you know it's not like that i have always given the full length test series i also used to do the subject wise test series you know so what i used to do, I, i was i was never giving the test series for the sake of giving it i will always you know revise that subject before giving uh, that subject test series so i think that's one thing that everyone should do just don't uh, keep giving test series for the sake of giving it so uh, yeah and every time i would revise a subject i would keep making smaller and smaller notes 
yeah for 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 some people it can be exhausting to keep making notes but uh, that was me i i feel more confident about my learning when i write it you know it just happens to me maybe i, I maybe i did not um, you know revise I, I i would not go through the whole copy again ever but it's just me that i feel confident when i keep writing it so in the sense smaller and smaller notes uh, what i mean is that when you keep on revising when you keep on giving tests you will get to know that uh, this certain part of the uh, the subject this topic is most important and most relevant to the gate exam so i would i would make a note of that only so that was my strategy so that what will happen that with each revision you won't have to go back to the whole uh, you know syllabus that you have done on your notes right you will go through the important parts only and um, you know you sh i don't know but i have revised uh, the subjects and have that till the time i knew this topic is on that page like i do, i do not have to flip through a lot of pages to go to that topic yeah so that will come with revision and practice so i might have done um, revision a lot more than what was needed but uh, yeah that's why i say that everybody has their own techniques you know some people do not even make notes so um, yeah then again how to manage stress series and revision simultaneously you can uh, what you can do is what i used to do is because i am from uttarakhand and, and it's uh, there is a lot of um, cold in winter <laughs> so i i would spend a lot of my time in my roof only under the sun so what i will do is uh, i'll do the revision throughout the day and then when i go back uh, uh, to the room in the evening i will do the test series and stuff at that day you know in the evening of that day so this is uh, something you can uh, this is how something you can manage test series and um, revision both hand in hand fix a, a particular time yeah and also I, i i had this bad habit of sleeping in the afternoon so i have decided to cut off that feeling because i also used to watch on youtube videos like this so um, yeah i remember rbrs are saying this that uh, the, the time when your actual exam is you should not be sleeping at the time because you know yeah, at that time subconsciously your mind would be in sleeping state maybe so i did not want to take that risk and i remember i used to be very worried about this that i because i needed to sleep i would feel very sleepy at that time of the evening and i had the exam in evening slot and i remember my mother kept saying me ki how would a person will sleep in the time of that important test you know don't get worried about it too much ki you will sleep <laughs> but yeah that was just me so uh, yeah you can do that and uh, the second question was how did you manage in your last two months so i think i have answered that question already how did i manage my last two months i did only test series revisions and notes making you know i used to make briefer and briefer notes so that that was it okay and uh, i think i i, I would uh, want to make this video relevant to the gate 2023 uh, aspirants only so uh, another question was how how you used to tackle msqs as most of them are completely theoretical based so i remember this msqs came uh, begin from our uh, batch only from uh, gate 2021 so and in i remember uh, we came to know about it before two two weeks of the exam if i'm not wrong i at least i came to know about it before two weeks of the exam so yeah uh, we were also worried about it because uh, because there were few test series who who had started launching this type of questions so when i was doing it there were a lot of uncertainty ambiguousness in those kind of questions especially if the question is from decidability so uh, how one can tackle these questions very smartly is this person also uh, you know uh, said that they are completely theoretical based so for those your notes will uh, come to your rescue you know if you have made you know, crisp notes ki um, for example you know what topic is important from algorithm from operating system or from architecture you will know what part of you know the theory that you need to remember because there is uh, one part is theoretical and one uh, one part is um, 
uh, what we say co conceptual you know so the uh, question that come from conceptual you, do, you only need to remember the concept you don't have to remember the whole question but from theory part you will need to remember the answer of that question right so um, you know if you have good enough idea of that topic you'll be able to uh, go through all the msqs you know very easily uh, but if you are uh, kind of confused about that topic so i i think you will have a hard time solving those msqs yeah so i think that would be my answer and the another question was i have completed all the subjects but not getting good marks like i attempt digital pair, a part a wise test of 25 marks in which i got 10 where i attempted seven questions got six correct so what should i do ideally reading someone else's note and then solving pair qs will work in this case okay so uh, i answered the same that don't just give uh, the test for the sake of giving it you know do the revision first for the question, for the subjects that you are going to give uh, the test for so and uh, you know i attempted digital pairwise test of 25 marks and which i got 10, uh, i got 10 where i attempted seven question and six correct so the uh, reason why you are only able to attempt only seven question you have to you know think about that because in my case i used to lag that's why i have made that strategy that once i'll go through whole of the paper and do only those question which are on the top of my mind and on the second go i'll start doing the uh, question that need some thinking so maybe you are you, you know you are lagging in time so you can you can try to manage and work on doing solving the whole test series in a proper time give more and more test series and try to apply techniques that work work for you so some people do not uh, go through this two round strategy that i followed but some some people do so uh, yeah just try and see what works for you the best and another reason of you not being able to do more questions in the test was because uh, you did not have a good uh, grasp on that subject so you can work on that either way this is the time you you will get to know what subjects you are lagging behind in and focus more on that yeah and i have suggested her that try to cover as many questions as possible also see what subjects you are performing good at so that at the actual day of exam you should be sorted ki kis subject ke question mein easily kar lungi aur kis subject ka chhodna hai you know this is also important that you should know that oh i am not very good at this question and this question is making me uncomfortable so it's better that i leave it so i think yeah so i think this would be it um i have tried uh, um, sorting out the question some of the questions were similar so uh, yeah, i hope i have answered a few questions that must be relevant and important to future gate aspirants and all the best to everybody bye bye Thank you.